Hi, I'm Josh, I'm the founder of Level Press, and welcome to the shop. Thank you for taking the time to check out this tutorial. I hope that you find it very useful. If you would like some more information, comment below and we will be happy to give you a tutorial video on how to prep for anything that you might be dreaming of producing. Please don't forget to subscribe to our videos, share this video if you found it informative. Thank you very much and enjoy the tutorial. Hey, this is Andrew with Level Press. Uh, today's tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to take rasterized artwork, usually a JPEG or a photo, something along those lines. Could be a PNG, could be anything. And we're going to turn it into vectorized artwork. Vector artwork is what we prefer here because uh, you can scale it and it doesn't lose any loss of quality and you can edit it a lot easier. So I'm placing the image in here right now. It's just a PNG file typical raster file going to get centered on here just on the artboard you can use that with the align tool now the first thing I'm going to do now that I have the artwork placed is copy it and drag it over here you can do that with control C and control V or you can go up to your edit menu then I just click on the original I'm going to go to the top here this little pull down menu shows the image trace options for live trace and I'm choosing black and white because this is a black and white image once I do that, it's going to go ahead and trace it. You'll see a little dialog box come up. And then I click on Expand, and you can see the full lines. I go into Outline Mode here just to make sure that it worked. You get to see the outline, the frame of the vectors, compared to that rasterized artwork next to it. Now, since we have our vectorized artwork with one color, we can change it real easy just by clicking on the swatches over here. If you are uh, having any trouble editing your image, uh, maybe that's a problem. Maybe it was a rasterized image. You just need to do this to trace it to vector. Then you'll be able to uh, make it really tiny. Let's say you're making business cards or make it really big. You're making a billboard. And uh, it's going to keep that same level of image quality. Nice, clean, rasterized lines so you won't have any pixels. You won't have any frayed edges or anything blurring. It's just going to be a solid block of color. Um, it's one of the artwork formats we prefer here at Level Press. Just uh, vectorized artwork in a PDF, an AI, or an EPS. And uh, it's pretty simple to do if you have a simple image. So I hope this helped you out. Comment if you have any questions. Thanks.